The serve of Felix Oje Aliassim. It's difficult to assess using a blanket statement. The first delivery might be his greatest weapon. It's a top 10 first serve in the world, producing aces at a clip that ranks seventh best among top 50 players in 2022. Look at the players above Felix in this statistic. Save for Kyrgios, they're all above six foot five and suffer from limited mobility. Oje Aliassim's movement is superior, and his combination of big serving and athleticism is part of the reason expectations for FAA's career have been so steep from such a young age. But while the first serve has propelled Felix to success, the reality is not as favorable when it misses. On the ATP stats leaderboard, FAA's points one percentage goes from 10th best on first serve to 56th on second serve. We started by saying Felix Ojeali seems serve is challenging to define. This is why. So what explains Ojeali Asim being so dominant on the first and so average on the second? And how can he fix it? The kick serve to the righty backhand is the king of second serves. Why kick? Because the topspin makes the serve easier to control, and the high bounce makes the ball harder to attack even at lower speeds. Why to the backhand? Because the average backhand in men's tennis is much less dangerous offensively compared to the forehand, especially from a high contact point. So if the kick to the backhand is the most foolproof and generally effective way to hit the second serve, we can see where Felix runs into issues. For one, OJ Aliassim's second serve is more of a slice serve, and his location is very rarely directed near either sideline. His ball toss goes out slightly to his right at the one o'clock position, which makes it easy for him to come around the right side of the ball to hit side spin. A typical kick serve is hit from a 12 o'clock or even 11 o'clock toss where a player can come under the ball in pronation and achieve top spin. Because the slice serve is a lower margin delivery by nature of having no top spin, Felix must resort to hitting into big targets to avoid double faulting. That means almost every FAA second serve is a body serve, especially on the ad side. Being predictable is never a good thing, but being predictable to an opponent's strength is the worst thing. Returners can often dictate off FAA's second serve because they know it's coming into the body, and the slicing action makes the ball tail to the right, directly into the forehand. Take his Basel final against Holger Runa. All six of his second serves on the ad side landed in the middle third of the service box. In that match, he got away with it, winning five of those six points. But when they played a week later in Paris, six of the eight went to the body and zero went to the backhand. Runa was ready this time and Felix was attacked. The Canadian only won three of eight points on second serve to the ad side. Going to the body is likely the best solution for Felix right now. His double fault rate is significantly lower in 2022 than it's ever been in his career. And we've seen throughout the fall indoor hardcourt season that sheer speed can make up for the predictable placement in some cases. But even if serving to the body is the best way for Felix to compensate for having no kick serve, it's likely to continue hurting him against the best opponents and in slower, windier conditions. For as good as Felix first serve is, he could benefit from developing a second serve he can hit to different locations and with additional spins, particularly kick. The absence of that serve explains some of the disparity between FAA's first and second serve success and his surface preferences. Slower surfaces are less likely to give a slice serve the low skidding effect, and body serves become less effective when the opponent has more time to react. The ability to win second serve points has often been a hallmark of the world's best, so it should be no surprise that the players with the best winning percentages in the last year, Djokovic, Alcaraz, and Nadal, are all top 10 in protecting their second serve. For FAA to get there, he must improve that serve and win neutral baseline rallies at a higher clip. For now, Felix will be happy to hit his world-class first serve at a high percentage and reach triple-digit miles per hour on his second serve in the comfort of the indoors as he gets set to play his first ATP Finals in Turin. But with so many weaknesses already addressed and another off-season to work with, FAA has a chance to take his game to another level and ensure continued success across surfaces. That'll happen with the improvement of his second serve.
For Baseline Media, I'm Gil Gross.